this exciting festival. Yes. What do you think of my festival attire? Yeah, I feel like, ooh, I just look like I'm confused about the weather, really. I'm a um, big fan of Super Mario because the rules are quite simple. Although I'll be honest, in the real world, the only time I've seen a plumber move that fast is when I mentioned out of hours call out fee. Um, in Super Mario, you stamp on a turtle, you get a gold coin. In the real life I did it, got banned from Chester Zoo. Um, uh, I have been thinking about losing a little bit of weight recently though, uh, just, a, just a sliver. What it is, right, I get this complex that people look at me and think that because I'm fat that I might not take care of myself or, you know, that I've got BO or something like that. And uh, it's not true, I don't have BO. Because, as I'm sure most of you might be aware, BO smells a little bit like pasties. And let me tell you, there's nothing worse for a fat man than being pulled around by the smell of a pie that he cannot eat. Uh, plus, uh, I had a moment in a fitting room recently where I thought, yeah, I definitely have to lose a little bit of weight. But it was right, I was trying on one of those retro snake print shirts. Turned around, looked in the mirror, and I really put it shit myself! <laughs> what a pretty python mid gazelle. In the raving revolution, just stay in, that's my solution. Leave your best friends at the bar and hop inside a stranger's car. Because you can't be naked in a public place, but at home you could ask it on your face, no one can point out. Because everyone has gone out. I wanna lie on the sofa like a Persian cat, binge your Netflix, what's wrong with that? I whip off my bra like a snake chicken skin, the first one to bed is a race I'll win, while all my friends are throwing the cash away, I'll cash in my pair, needs for a rainy day, in my duvet there's no need for leaving, I'm living my best life, the life I believe in, I've got lo shamo, lo shamo, I love staying home and missing out, I've got lo shamo, lo shamo, I just love staying home and missing out. I've been puzzled though, I've been puzzled, I've been in Tesco's, before I came here, I was buying this watermelon, Right. And he did. Well, that nice watermelon, and it was like a, it was a, it was a sticker on the watermelon saying, This watermelon count as one of my five a day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't eat five watermelons a day. That's like too many watermelons, you know what I mean? It's about, you know, and also, like, I, I was doing my big shop for the week as well. So it's like 35 watermelons. I just buy out, you better carry them out of the shop. You know, I'm just one man on my own. If I had like a, a wife and 2.4 children, that's like 154 watermelons, I've got to get them. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I've never eaten watermelons in the shop, you know, so, you know, in the end, I just bought one. You know, I'm just going to risk it, you know. I don't want to live around. I seem to be fat from the start. I was doomed. It's not my fault. Because uh, I, I grew up in a place called Blackpool. Oh my god, so many of you haven't been. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I grew up in Blackpool, right? So I grew up on a Blackpool diet. Like, stick a rock for breakfast. Donuts and candy floss for lunch. Fish and chips for tea. I'm lying though, because I had chippy at lunch as well. <laughs> Plus, uh, you don't get any exercise in Blackpool, because we just get battered from on the back of a donkey. Um, if you don't know about that, Blackpool, Blackpool's kind of like uh, the equivalent of Southport, except like, ours has got our seagulls have got knives. <laughs> um, I, I don't live there anymore, I actually live in Manchester now and I spend a lot of time in Liverpool too and uh, I've realised basically that Blackpool is to the rest of the North West while having a long poo at work. It's uh, actually working. <laughs> but yeah, it's dirty. It smells like a toilet cubicle, sure. But it's just nice to get away for a bit. <laughs> Please come back, please come